We're going to be sharing all of the secrets that got us into Caltech. Hi, I'm Alita. And I'm Megan. And we're twins that got into Caltech this past application cycle. The California Institute of Technology is known to have the lowest acceptance rate in the U.S. with around 2% of students being admitted. And this is for good reason. Caltech is often known as the MIT of the West Coast with very small class sizes, specialized research programs, and a strong academia-based focus. And you may know the school from Young Sheldon and Big Bang Theory. Well, of course, there's more than one way to get in, but we will be sharing our tips on what we think you can do to maximize your chances of showing your passion in STEM and demonstrating fit. So I applied as a astrophysics major, and I applied as a bioengineering or material science major. It's important to note that Caltech is a STEM school, so you are going to have to major in a STEM field. My number one recommendation if you want to get into Caltech is focus on your coursework. In your school, make sure to take your AP math classes, AP science classes, and if there are opportunities for dual enrollment to take additional college level coursework, I would recommend that. If you're interested in the STEM classes that we took, you can watch our video posted on the stats and ECs that got us into Caltech and many other schools. Because Caltech is a STEM school, they require both a STEM and a humanities letter of recommendation. So if you're really passionate about STEM and you plan on submitting two STEM letters of rec to all of your other colleges, make sure you're asking a English or social science teacher for a letter of recommendation for schools like Caltech or even MIT that do require that humanities rec. It's also important to show what you're doing outside of school, not just in terms of classes, but also extracurriculars. This could be through independent projects, group projects, or research. Also, when you're filling out your Common App and including your awards, you might think there's not enough space, especially for some of those STEM awards, such as like STEM Olympiads. Don't worry, on the Caltech Beaver portal, they actually give you an opportunity to upload up to 10 academic awards, and they also require proof of that. So you can just include some of them in your Common App and then add the other ones on the portal. In our case, we were really involved in competition math, robotics, and science research. And in Caltech's application, we were able to portray that through our awards and also our essays. Caltech has stated that a little over 50% of admitted students submitted research portfolios, which we both also did. Although this is not required, we strongly recommend that you share any research you're passionate about. And although there are many objective criteria that could get you into a school like Caltech, like your coursework, standardized testing, um, extracurriculars, and awards, there are many holistic features of the applicant, such as personality, determination, resilience, um, creativity, and these factors come in through your essays. In these essays, you want to show all of these traits as well as an overall passion for STEM, because that's why you would want to go to Caltech. So we will be sharing the essays that we think most embody this spirit and this balance of academic and personal interest. These essays may sound familiar if you watched our other essay videos, and if you haven't, you can click the link down in the description. This also shows that you can recycle and tailor your essay ideas to fit each school. So the first prompt is, why did you choose your proposed area of interest? 200 words or fewer. Breaking news, alien spotted at Area 51. As a child, headlines like these would capture my imagination. I devoured every conspiracy theory about extraterrestrial life, picturing mysterious beings visiting Earth. But as I grew older, my curiosity evolved into a more scientific question. What if life exists elsewhere in the universe? The scale of the cosmos is staggering. Billions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars and potentially trillions of planets. Statistically, the chances of Earth being the only planet with life are incredibly low. And yet, every telescope and sensor we've pointed at the sky has found nothing but silence. This contradiction, the Fermi Paradox, drives my curiosity. My goal is to study and research the atmospheric conditions, chemical compositions, and planetary environments that might support life. I want to explore how tools like spectroscopy can help detect biosignatures in distant atmospheres and uncover the secrets of exoplanets. By analyzing the tiniest shifts of light, we can determine if water, methane, or oxygen, indicators of life, exist on other worlds. Discovering life beyond Earth would redefine how we see ourselves in the cosmos. I want to help answer one of humanity's biggest questions. Are we alone or part of something bigger? So I think that this essay showed that I did have a passion for research and astrophysics, and it provided more context onto why I want to study what I want to study and what I could potentially research at Caltech. The prompt is, regardless of your STEM interest listed above, take this opportunity to nerd out and talk to us about whatever STEM rabbit hole you have found yourself falling into. 
Be as specific or broad as you would like. When I first examined a micrograph of cutivirus, I expected clarity, but found a mess of thon rings and ice artifacts. I discovered that improper vitrification during freezing had crystallized the water, obscuring the virus's details. I turned to contrast transfer function correction to salvage the data, using Fourier transform techniques to adjust defocus values. Through multiple refinements, I sharpened the micrograph, revealing the virus's structure enough to create an electron density map. The map posed new challenges. None of the amino acids fit into the density, so I inverted the handedness of the map. With this adjustment, most side chains snapped into place, but the amino acid group of a row glycine still resisted alignment. Toggling sigma levels, I uncovered subtle hydrogen bonds and adjusted the torsion angle, improving the model accuracy. Each challenge deepened my fascination with cryo-EM, where even one misaligned residue inspired me to find new solutions. So although this essay doesn't include a lot about me personally, I think it shows a lot through interests and the problem-solving aspect of this. And because this is Caltech, where they know you're going to be a little bit nerding out and geeking out over some of these topics, it's okay to really dive into the topic and kind of talk about how you feel about it. It doesn't all have to be just about you. Okay, this next essay I'm about to read is one of my um, favorite essays from the application cycle. And the prompt is, tell us how you initially found your interest and passion for science or any STEM topic and how you've pursued or developed this interest or passion, 200 words or fewer. It started with a sharp left turn, a burst of sparks, and the thrill of dodging banana peels. As a kid, I spent countless hours racing through the whimsical worlds of Mario Kart, mesmerized not only by the excitement of the game, but the mechanics behind it. Each choice, cart, wheel, and glider, affected speed, acceleration, weight, handling, and grip. I wasn't just playing, I was experimenting, tweaking variables and optimizing for performance without even realizing it. Years later, that curiosity found a new outlet, Vex Robotics. The colorful carts of my childhood were replaced by metal frames and the courses transformed into competitive matches. Building drivetrains became my new obsession, choosing gear ratios for torque or speed, swapping motor cartridges with different RPMs, and weighing the trade-offs between durable steel and lightweight aluminum. Every design decision echoed the same thrill I felt years earlier in Mario Kart, but now with real-world stakes and tangible outcomes. My passion for STEM has always been rooted in this blend of creativity and problem solving. Whether racing through virtual tracks or engineering a robot, I am driven by a love for systems, optimization, and the acceleration of discovery. For this essay, I really like the seamless transition between playing Mario Kart and into Vex Robotics. Um, robotics is an extracurricular I spent a lot of time in in high school, and I think that the backstory of Mario Kart and kind of just racing provides more context into to who I am and kind of what interests me. So I also really enjoyed this prompt because I think it gives you a really fun opportunity to share kind of a random or like seemingly random experience and tie it into STEM and maybe how you got an appreciation for STEM that you didn't really think about before. My taste buds screamed betrayal. I bit into butter popcorn only to discover the sickly sulfuric punch of rotten egg. How does a jelly bean pack the perfect illusion of flavor? Jelly Belly's Bean Boozle Challenge is a masterpiece of biochemical engineering. Each bean holds a world of molecules that hijack the same receptors in our mouths that real food does. Rotten egg uses thiols, the same sulfur-based compounds found in spoiled eggs. In the lab, I began experimenting, heating citric acid, glucose, and amino acids to replicate the Mallard reaction. I created aromas ranging from roasted coffee to caramel by tweaking temperatures and pH levels. Beyond flavors, my fascination grew to include how chemistry shapes materials. I explored the cross-linking of sodium alginate and chitosin in hydrogels, measuring how calcium ion concentrations influence the material's permeability. I discovered that slight increases in calcium ions could transform the hydrogel structure from flexible to rigid. At ISIF, I presented my research on double cross-linked hydrogels and their applications in islet encapsulation, a type 1 diabetes treatment. At Caltech, I will explore the intersection of biochemistry and material science to design sustainable biomaterials and biosensors that address healthcare challenges. So I start with the Jelly Belly Bean Boozle Challenge, which is a really fun memory from my childhood, and then talked about how it made me more interested in the science behind it and how there was so much to it. And then I talked a little bit about how I explored this passion as well as related fields and then ended with my overall goal uh, in the future of what I'd like to do. The next prompt is, tell us about a STEM related experience from the last few years and share how and why it inspired your curiosity. 200 words or fewer. 
So you can use this essay to talk about any sort of STEM experience. It can be something you learned in class, a summer program, a research project. So it's a very open-ended prompt. Personally, I chose to talk about um, astrophysics and I started with an anecdote from my summer program. At 12.45 a.m. as the graveyard shift began, I felt surprisingly awake. My team couldn't help but laugh at our target's name, Supernova 2024 LOL, fitting for the late night delirium that had us cracking jokes as we gathered around the telescope. At the Yale summer program in astrophysics, laughter helped me through six intense weeks of exploration. Astrophysics breaks all rules of conventional science. Stars can be millions of years old and die in seconds. Planets orbit massive black holes that technically don't exist in space-time. The deeper I dug, the more absurd and irresistible astrophysics became. This isn't a science of absolutes. It's the universe poking fun at itself while daring us to figure it out. Neutron stars are denser than Mount Everest crammed into a sugar cube. Black holes evaporate in bursts of hawking radiation. I'm hooked on the cosmos audacity, hungry for more late nights with telescopes and stars that defy explanation. So I think this essay really showed why I'm passionate about astrophysics, and it's just a genuine interest in, in learning the field. Also, for other schools, the essays are kind of meant to show more about yourself, but in Caltech, you can also just talk about an academic passion. So I talked a lot about astrophysics as a whole, and while I wasn't necessarily talking about my own personal experience, it showed more of a genuine interest. Also, Caltech is a very collaborative school. Um, the problem sets and classes are very difficult, so they do expect that you're going to struggle and that you're going to have to lean on your classmates and work together. So my summer program was very rigorous and a lot of the problem sets and research would be too difficult by myself. So I also took this essay to talk about working as a team. And I think laughter at midnight is definitely something that's applicable to Caltech's collaborative environment as well. So the next essay is an optional essay, which means it's by no means required, but if you just want to share a little bit extra about yourself, it's a great way to do this. It's a pretty long prompt, but it basically says that th everyone has different outlets, and what is a favorite interest or hobby, and why does it bring you joy? The clock strikes 10 p.m., and a scream echoes from the dining room. By the time I arrive, the crime scene is set. A shattered vase, a smear of blood, and an empty candlestick holder. Late night clue marathons with my friends have become a cherished tradition, blending my two favorite things, logic and creativity. Unlike Monopoly, where the banker's best friend always wins, clue levels the playing field. Success isn't about luck or alliances. It's about critical thinking, and that's where I shine. With logic as my greatest ally, I can unravel the mystery and outsmart my friends, all on my own terms. My friends throw wild accusations and weave elaborate stories of worthy of an Agatha Christie novel. Meanwhile, I sit quietly with my trusty notebook, observing, piecing clues together, and letting the facts guide me. I thrive on spotting patterns and connecting details that others might overlook. By carefully interrogating suspects, taking calculated risks, and even using a bit of reverse psychology when questioned, I often uncover the secret in the envelope first. Winning is sweet, but what I love most is using logic and deduction to save the fictional dinner party guests from certain doom. So this is also a pretty fun essay where I talked a little bit about uh, how I love logic and critical thinking and kind of tying that into a fun board game because I think that's also kind of the vibe at Caltech where you're a little nerdy um, but also having fun. So looking back at our Caltech essays, we pretty much did talk about STEM in almost all of the supplementals. For other schools, we wanted to appear a little bit more well-rounded and not just STEM academics, especially because those characteristics were already present in other parts of our application. But I think Caltech specifically, it is important to show a genuine passion for um, math and science and whatever way you can portray that, especially because Caltech is so rigorous and if you aren't passionate about the field, you're going to struggle a lot. So instead of holding back, we really just showed all of our interest for STEM and just put it out there on the playing field. If you have any questions, please comment down below. We'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to our channel because we'd really love to hit 1,000 subscribers as a milestone. In addition to subscribing, make sure to hit that bell notification so that you can be notified of our new videos. Uh, right now, we're working on an ICIF research and cold emailing video that will go over all of the essentials when you're first starting research.